hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel please comment like share and subscribe so we are doing uh sales today we are swimming with the sales and we are at platen bag bay which is uh located at the garden route in southern african western cape it lies about 500 kilometers east of cape town and it's about uh 240 kilometers west of port elizabeth so this is after we did the bungee jumping is the same day we did the bungee jumping and now we are doing the uh swimming with the seals so i hope you enjoy this vlog to the end Oh, this is sharks and then seals. Hmm? Uh, we have four people signed up for seals. Mm -hmm. We already prepaid for them. Oh, the sharks too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you charge it? Okay. 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 Yeah, what? Is it your first time swimming in the fields? Yes. Oh. Yes, we've done snorkeling many times, but never right. with seals. Yeah. We swam with uh, sea turtles. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. 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 Sharks. Yeah. Sharks? That's very scary. Yeah. I saw sharks in Indonesia, but it, was, it wasn't in an enclosed place. It was just out in the ocean. I mean, sharks are supposed to be dangerous. They don't attack Not always. No, they're also small sharks, big sharks. Sure, but we have our own snorkels. Yeah, small sharks can still eat yeah. you. I can eat them. <laughs> oh, God. I'll eat you. And then for you, I'm guessing. Uh, 40, 40, 41. 40, 41. Yeah. Okay, I want you to try these for me. They do stretch and go over your heel. If they are not comfortable, we go a size higher, okay? okay. I'm a US 8. US 8. <laughs> That is you, man. Again, just goes over your heel of the back. Okay. okay, and then your uh, wetsuit. Um, I tied it for three mediums and one large. For him, a large for him. Yeah. So did I put my these hangs now? You, yeah, we're gonna try them on now. See how they fit. That looks fine on you. Maybe the bigger one. See. The bigger one. Okay. Have you tried it? You're know, wearing now. Yes. Let's see. Uh, still out. Is that okay? And they're not feeling fitting me well, right? It's good. I don't think they fit me well. Is it, is it okay like this? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Oh yeah? It's supposed to be... Slightly over is not a problem, yeah. Oh, okay. As long as it's comfortable, then you're good. And the water is also going to be a, a bit more loose, so okay. it's going to be okay. 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 Um, your wetsuit, I'm giving you a medium. Um, you guys are not sure. <laughs> you are going with a large... You did the bungee jumping, eh? Yeah. 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 Uh, is this the wrong foot? It's supposed to be this way? Okay. <laughs> it's confusing. Yeah. Okay. Does it you, Mom? Scared of the seals? Fits you? Yes. Oh, yeah. And very very and not the. I think it's alright. You guys don't want to jump in. Hi. Fabulous. Really? Don't look at my no-no spot. You need to come out. How do I look like? Yeah, you look uh, like a sexy dolphin. That guy has the whitest nose I've ever seen. Um. Yeah, you, let me let me come and help you. I don't think so. That's a very long stretch. <laughs> yeah, I did New Zealand. I was excited to sit next to you. Aww, me too. Here we are. Okay, guys. First of all, welcome to Offshore Adventures. My name is Stuart, and I'll be your guys' this guide. And where we're heading today is towards the Robert Peninsula. Have any of you guys been there? You know where that is. 
Nope. Nope. You guys do. You guys don't. Okay. So there's a big mountain at the back there. Oh, mountain is a reserve and there's a nice hike you guys can do. And it is home to our seal colony of approximately 10,000 seals. Okay. Ooh. There's a lot of them there. There's a guaranteed sighting. There's at least about a few hundred in the water at the moment. So it's going to be nice. Okay. There's a, there's a few different behaviors we can expect. There'll be some bigger ones, some smaller ones. The bigger ones tend to stay away from us because they know what we are, but the smaller <laughs> ones are more interactive and playful. They'll come closer to us. Okay? So with the smaller ones, they have these whiskers on the side of their face, which they use to feel what's happening around them. Okay? So they use their whiskers. We as humans, we use our hands. They use their whiskers. So they might come up to you and start feeling on you with their whiskers and trying to figure out what we are. Okay? <laughs> they're not being aggressive, they're just being curious. Okay. Because of the curious nature, they tend to come really close to us. Okay? If you want a close encounter, my advice to you is to be as still as possible and as calm as possible. They'll come close to you. If you don't want that, keep it moving, they stay away. Okay? <laughs> right. Give them a little dance, they stay away. <laughs> um, yeah, so imagine this guys, if you have your mask on, imagine this, if you want a close encounter, if you have your mask on in the water, you keep calm, you keep still, the seals will come up with their whiskers, they'll put their whiskers on your mask, they'll even grab a hold of it with their teeth, and you'll be able to look in their mouths. Oh wow. Only if you're brave enough. Okay? <laughs> you don't have to do this, if you don't like that, you open up your arms, make yourself look big, they'll get a fright and move away. Oh, okay. okay. But if you want can that, that keep well? arms. Is there, is, there, is, there, is there vision issues there? Or? No, no. They can see just like we do, so they'll come around, they'll stare at you as they come around, and then if you keep still, they'll literally just stare, stare at you for a few, like a minute or so, then they'll come close and close and they'll start feeling on you. Okay, so they'll look at you at first, then they come with the whiskers. <coughs> okay? Um, yeah, so that is that. What, what if we reach out and try and pet them? That's good question, sir. That's the only rule I have today is that you guys please don't touch them. Okay? Oh. Don't reach out and touch them. We call this a one way relationship. They are allowed to touch you, but you're not allowed to touch them. Okay? They are still wild animals. We want to keep them as wild as possible. So just respect that. Try not to touch them. If your guys are allowed to have your hands out, though. You can move your hands around. If you keep your hands still, they will come up to investigate what your hands are. They'll come up yes, with their whiskers, they'll feel with their whiskers at first, but they might start using their teeth. So if you want to avoid that, keep your hands close to yourself, okay? You might see me with my hands out. I'm used to them grabbing all the, of my hands. You're just going to be feeling on it, just like a little dog. Feel on it, feel on it, and then they let go, okay? Just like a little puppy. It's only for a few seconds they let go. But yeah, you don't have to do it. Um, yeah, so that is that. All of us now to swim? Yes. Yeah. Okay, wetsuits are very buoyant. They will keep you on the surface. It is quite difficult to dive down, but you guys are allowed to. If you want to dive down, make sure there's no one around you so you don't kick someone in the face as you're making your way down. Right. Okay? All clear? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, so wetsuits are very buoyant. The fl flippers or fins that we gave you, those are there to help you move around, but they're also there to protect your feet. Because these little guys, they like playing with our fins. They might come up to you, they'll grab a hold of one of your fins, and then just play with it like a little doggy. <laughs> they are not strong enough to pull you down, right. to take the fin from you, okay? You're just gonna be playing with it. So if you feel something tugging on your fin, it might be a little seal, or it might be me just pulling on your leg. <laughs> or me, um, don't pull my leg. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that is that. So that's why I say with your hands, keep your hands close because they do the same behavior as they do with the seals, they'll do with your hands. Okay, so keep your hands to yourself, you don't want that. Um, yeah, so that is basically all from my side. If you guys have any questions, I'm here. What if a bigger one comes to you? Bigger ones, they'll, normally what will happen is with the bigger ones, they'll come at you, with the, just look at you, they'll come straight past you and then they go on their way. Oh, they won't Smaller ones interact more, the, oh. little, the bigger ones, they either keep their distance or they'll come close to you but just pass and then they go on their way. <laughs> so they don't really interact with us that much. All oh, right, okay. That's a good sign. <laughs> um, I will be, in the, obviously, be in the water with you the whole time. I'll be looking at the behavior of the seals and all of that. If you guys do something that I don't like, I'm going to tell you, listen, just come a bit away from there, or d stop doing this or whatever. But in general, these guys are very playful and curious and friendly by nature. You guys will notice when we get there. Right. So they don't, wa they don't mind us being in the water with them at all. Right. When we jump in, they're actually gl uh, glad that we're there. How old do seals usually get to? About 30 years old. Wow. Around about, yeah. 
quite quite a long time um, but yeah that is basically all from my side guys I want you guys to make sure you have your pins make sure you have your mask and then if you guys are ready I am ready you can start making your way down to the boat sure hey so we are gonna get do a boat ride for about 15 minutes Welcome to the Indian Ocean. This is part of the Indian Ocean. Great. Right. Um, Cape Town sides the Atlantic. That is also the only other place in South Africa where you can do the seal swimming. Difference is Atlantic Ocean is really cold. Indian Ocean is a bit more warm. So today we're looking at about 18 degrees. It's still warm for me. Two <laughs> weeks ago it was 9 degrees. No. So yeah, I'm happy with 18. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So on the way towards the mountain, you'll see that now there'll be a lot of seals jumping at the hunting the little uh, up their strength in their muscles at the age of three months they start swimming okay so in the next few months they give birth on land they give birth on land babies stay on land for the first three months then they start swimming so in the next like three or four weeks we expect to see the little guys swimming and they are about the size of our fins and then you'll see some of the behavior here with these bigger ones they will come straight at you in the water and at the last moment they turn away. What will happen with the little babies when they start swimming, they don't have their timing right yet. They swim straight into you. 
<laughs> the timing's not Don't there yet. It, 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 it comes to the end here, like, up, oh, up, oh, and then I just run away. Oh, that's cute. It's quite cool to see. <laughs> I'm looking forward to them starting this off. So anyways, guys, we're going to start to take off our life jackets. I'm going to take your life jackets from you, and then you guys will start putting on your fins for me. So we won't need life jackets in the water. We won't need life jackets in the water. Wet suits a full cool body life jacket. And then we do have floats if any of you guys do want to float. Okay? We have two floats in the front here. One float can take up to four people. I think I'll need a float. Not a problem. Not <laughs> I need a, a problem. float too. I'm glad Beautiful we have two. So guys, it was time for us now to enjoy uh, snorkeling and swimming with the seals. They are a bit scary when they come near to you because some of some time they will um, open their mouth and they kind of want to bite you. <laughs> but still, it was nice uh, swimming with the seals. They're still wild animal and still, uh, you know, they want to keep them wild as the instructor told us. So there are different types of species and uh, the ones that you are here were uh, the brown fur seals that they uh, found uh, in South Africa and Australia, correct me if I'm wrong. And the ones in South Africa are a bit larger or bigger in size, slightly larger compared to the Australian subspecies. An adult male is about 2.3 meters in length and weigh around 200 to 300 kilograms while the female are slightly uh, smaller in size averaging 1.8 meters in length and weigh 120 kilograms the adult male fur seals are darker gray to brown with a dark male of short coarse hair and light belly while other female are light brown to gray with light throat and darker back and belly the four flippers of fur seal are brown to dark, to dark or black uh, the young ones are born black and mold to gray with pale throat within three to five months one thing to note is that um, even though the young seals were being friendly and uh, fun to swim with them, but still they are still wild animals and the bulls or the male, uh, they call them bulls, they can weigh up to six feet and they, are very, they have powerful bodies that propel them through the water at speed. So if one approaches you, it is important to remain calm and not to make any sudden moves or behave in any way that the seal might find threatening. they'll go into for some shade and then they'll come down fish they'll go out hunting for a few days at a time 
So I'll come back. It's only uh, it's quite a it's nice life. day. They usually stay in the water for a few days. They're out of the water a few days. They're in the water a certain amount of time every day. Or no, yeah, it's, it's just it's, sometimes they'll stay in here for a few hours at a time. Sometimes longer, yeah. even just a few minutes. So it's just they'll come down, play a bit, they'll go back out. And, and it also depends on. The <coughs> Sometimes it also depends on like the temperature of the water. Yeah. Because if it's warmer, there's more in the water, colder, more on the ground. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. No. You're not going to get it. We're off floating. I'm not doing anything. No, from the, from the jacket or from what? This. No. Yes. No. Well, look at that. Not doing anything. You, you, because you can float. <laughs> this I cannot float. I forget to float. Try it. Zip off. Come on, for five seconds, I'll give back to you. No. I'll give back to you. I'll die. <laughs> the males are usually unpredictable and conflict a nasty bite if they feel threatened. So the advice is to stay away from them. Uh, far away as possible because they could be uh, possibly be looking for a group of female nearby and could mistaken you for another male how funny is that so we were told still to stay away from you know the pub the pubs and um, because sometimes they could feel um, threatened or stressed that will cause even the mother to stay away so our work was only to watch, to see, <laughs> and not to touch. During breeding, brown fur seals begin to breed in the middle of October when males halt out on shore to establish territories through display, vocalization, sparing, and sometimes actual combat. They fast at this time and do not eat until after mating in November or December. <laughs> wow! <laughs> When the females arrive, they fight among themselves for, territor for territories in which to give birth. Female territories are smaller than those of males and are usually uh, located within them. Females within male territories are considered part of their you know, gang or harem. The males do not hurt the female. The female are free uh, to choose who to mate with. They judge them based on the value of their territories, which I think fits uh, some behaviors humans, I guess. <laughs> After mating, gestation period is about 9 to 11 months. Pups are born and suckle from their mothers for about two to three weeks. The mother will then leave the pup to mate again before leaving the beach. The wind pup sheds its white coat and after a while hunger drives it to make its way to the sea to look for its own food.
When a mother returns from the sea to feed her pup, she emits a loud call which attracts all the nearby pups, but she only responds to her pup. She possibly can recognize her pup by smell. When the pups left alone, they gather in groups and play during the evening. Pups are usually weaned at four to six months old. sounds they make. Yeah, I just mimic that sound and that's why they went down. We're gonna scan around, see if it's all clear, then they go back to the normal behavior. That's the first trick. The second one, I want you guys to stay as a group here. I'm gonna be swimming away Wait. from you. I'm gonna dive down, swim underneath you guys, and you'll see a whole group of seals following me. Okay. Okay? So right. if you want, you can take a video of this. But yeah, as soon as you guys see me start diving down, you can all start looking down. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. Awesome. Someone can just hold on to you. enjoyed this video to the end. 
tell me tell me in the comment section if you can do this if you can swim with the seals i mean i do crazy things <laughs> but swimming with the seals was one of an interesting thing that i did today and i love it i love it to the end if you haven't subscribed to my videos or my channel that's it please subscribe like this video comment and share on to the next project right <laughs> see you tomorrow bye